morning or good afternoon, wherever you are. We know that there are many webinars out there to choose from, and we certainly appreciate you joining ours today. My name is Claire Rogers, and I'm the Senior Marketing Manager for Fluidyme Mass Cytometry. Fluidyme is aware that many researchers are involved in investigations related to the COVID-19 pandemic. In recent days, we've seen increasing interest in the use of the Fluidyme Max PAR Direct Immune Profiling Assay for immune monitoring of COVID-19 patients. And Fluidyme has also launched a COVID-19 specific webpage with a full site of resources. Our team of field application specialists are available to provide consultation on the use of the MaxPAR direct immune profiling assay and mass cytometry or imaging mass cytometry in general in your research. Now I would like to introduce Andrew Draghi, who is a North American mass cytometry field application scientist based in Connecticut. During his 20 minute presentation, feel free to type your questions in the question box at any time and he will answer them during the Q&A session. Andrew will now introduce you to a groundbreaking assay with a data analysis solution specifically designed for deep immune profiling of PDMC and whole blood samples in clinical and translational research called the MaxPAR Direct Immune Profiling System. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Claire. <clears throat> Welcome to today's live session. Um, Fluidime is well aware of many Atlantic challenges faced when studying immune-mediated diseases and the complexity of immune response in health and disease. These challenges include limited and precious samples, longitudinal data comparisons, cost-effective and efficient analysis, incorporating new findings into ongoing studies, and the ability to find the unexpected. Flow cytometry is a typical way that immune profiling and monitoring is performed. Here is a 5-2 panel used by the Human Immunology Project Consortium, or HIPC. While the HIPC and other flow cytometric assays for immunophenotyping cover a number of markers, they require multiple tubes to do so, as is shown here. Certain antibodies must be used multiple times across tubes in order to allow for deeper phenotyping of certain cell subsets. Correlative data for markers not repeated is thus lost. The number of populations that can be identified is therefore reduced. Current fluorescent cytometry approaches to immune profiling have limitations that present challenges for studies requiring immune monitoring. These challenges include limited cell population identification, the use of multiple tubes, which are labor intensive, variability in site-to-site -site results, and the subjectivity of manual gating strategies. When sample volume is limited or sample is precious, the ability to analyze all needed populations in a single tube is extremely valuable. Fluidime has launched an innovative approach to high dimensional immune profiling with the MaxPAR Direct Immune Profiling System, which addresses many of these challenges. The system consists of an assay kit with a dry 30 marker panel in a single tube, plus the reagents needed to process either PBMC or whole blood samples. Also provided is a custom template to collect samples on the Helios mass cytometer, and an automated data analysis software solution designed specifically for use with the assay. Data analysis of FCS files can be completed in as little as five minutes with MaxPAR Path Setter software. The MaxPAR Direct Immune Profiling Assay with MaxPAR Path Setter software provides efficiency from a streamlined workflow. In the first step, PBMC or whole blood samples are stained in a ready-to-use assay tube. In the second step, data is acquired with a customized acquisition template on the Helios mass cytometer. In the third and final step, population frequencies, data plots, and QC metrics are reported with MaxPAR Pathsetter software. Let's discuss the components of the system in more detail. First is the Helios mass cytometer. By enabling routine analysis of greater than 40 parameters per cell, 
Helios offers the most complete and comprehensive view of cell phenotype and function in a cytometric platform available today. The power of this technology allows you to collect the most actionable information from every cell in every precious sample. In addition, this technology is no longer considered to be a novelty, only used by risk takers at a few institutions, but is now available at over 200 sites worldwide and is a key technology in multiple clinical trials. The use of fluorescence is still considered the cytometric standard. Fluorochrome conjugated antibodies are widely used, but they have limited utility for higher parameter studies. As you see here, there's often significant signal overlap. Other challenges such as highly variable staining intensities, background signal, and autofluorescence also exist. These challenges combine to create limitations that impart significant complexities to experimental design and interpretation. Because of this, traditional fluorescence is currently limited in terms of routine use to 18 to 20 parameters at maximum. Helios uses proven CYTOF technology, cytometry by time of flight, that surpasses the inherent limitations of fluorescent-based detection by using highly pure metal tags that are separated by mass instead of by wavelength. Metal tags have distinct signals, which can be separated with one Dalton resolution, as well as less variable probe intensities. In addition, nothing analogous to autofluorescence exists when using CYTOF te technology, since the metals we use as probes don't exist naturally in biological systems. These characteristics of metal tags provide a solution to the current challenges in high parameter flow cytometry. Next, I'd like to introduce the second part of the system, the MAXPAR Direct Immune Profiling Assay. The MAXPAR Direct Immune Profiling Assay has multiple advantages. It is comprehensive with the ability to profile 37 immune cell populations in a single tube with a dry 30 marker panel. The assay is also efficient and easy to use. The single tube with its optimized dry panel minimizes assay design and validation time while maximizing the information for PBMC and whole blood samples. You just add your sample and go. And the MAXPAR direct immune profiling assay is reliable. Its rigorous product QC and testing provides trusted results lot to lot, run to run, and site to site. Here you can see the 30 markers contained in the assay tube. The assay markers were selected with input from industry leading pharma companies, academic institutions, and builds on the panels recommended by HIPC. The assay uses markers from the HIPC panel as its base. Markers colored in orange are those added, which expand the numbers of cell populations identified by the HIPC panel. These subpopulations include gamma delta T cells, granulocytes, early and late NK cells, mate and NK T cells. CD28, CD161, and CXCR5 allow for better definition of T cell subsets. CD45 is included for pan leukocyte identification. And finally, the intercalator, intercalator 130, 103 rhodium is used for live dead discrimination. Here are the 37 populations identified by the MAXPAR Direct Immune Profiling Assay for each sample. These 37 populations span the major immune cell populations found in PBMCs. They include lymphocytes, monocytes, and dendritic cells. When using whole blood, granulocyte populations can also be identified. The, agent, the assay's reagents are subjected to a rigorous product QC, thus ensuring a consistent lot-to-lot -lot performance. Another way to look at the markers in this panel kit is to arrange them by the metal to which they are conjugated to. Doing this enables you to see which metals or channels are available to add markers. When markers are added to the panel, the MAXPAR Pathsetter software can be used to build a new automated analysis model.
customization of the MaxPAR direct immune profiling assay allows you to expand the panel to customize your research questions. Shown here in green are multiple immune checkpoint markers and markers of T cell exhaustion. Fluidime has added these markers on additional metals to our catalog for greater panel design flexibility and so that they are compatible with the MaxPAR direct immune profiling assay. As an example, Zheng et al. recently hypothesized that TIGIT and PD-1 may have prognostic values in COVID-19 T-cell exhaustion profiles. Now I'd like to introduce you to the automated software solution designed specifically to analyze FCS files collected using MaxPAR Direct Immune Profiling Assay, MaxPAR Path Setter. This software enables fast, reliable identification and enumeration of the 37 cell populations defined by the 30 markers in the MaxPAR Direct assay kit. Go from an FCS file to a high parameter analytic report in as little as five minutes. Obtain analysis results independent of user proficiency and manual gating bias. PathSetter is also flexible allowing you to build a custom automated data analysis model if you want to add to antibodies to the MaxPAR direct immune profiling assay. MaxPAR PathSetter provides an easy to use user interface. Multiple FCS files can be loaded and analyzed as a batch. Simply click auto to have PathSetter automatically run data cleanup and analyze your files. A few minutes later, the report will be ready for you to explore and export. This slide shows the straightforward MaxPAR PathSetter workflow. In step one, PathSetter generates an FCS file of single viable cell events. In step two, population frequencies are calculated by probability state modeling. In step three, the report is generated, which includes population frequencies as well as QC matrix. Let's discuss each of these steps in more detail. <clears throat> in the first step of MaxPAR PathSetter automated analysis, viable single cells are selected and a new FCS file is generated for further analysis. The automated cleanup removes beads, dead cells, debris, and aggregates. The plot on the slide shows data before and after the automated cleanup is performed. These plots show how the results of cleanup by showing specific plots before and after selection is applied. They do not represent the way the algorithm actually performs the single viable cell selection. First row of plots shows data before the cleanup step is applied. Dead cells, debris, and doublets are all present. The same plots post cleanup show removal of dead cells, debris, and doublets. The first two plots show that live single cells, as indicated by the tight DNA pick, have been selected. The CD3 versus CD19 plot now lacks the CD3 positive, CD19 positive cells, which are largely due to doublets in the peripheral blood samples. In step two, MaxPAR PathSetter identifies populations and calculates frequencies. A B cell example is shown in this slide. In the model, two populations will be identified, namely naive and memory B cells. Using CD19, CD20, CD27, CD38, and IgD. The progression plot shows how these markers change between naive and memory B cell populations. Traditional dot plot views of marker expression, colorized according to cell population, can also be viewed. In step three, a report of results is automatically generated. The report summary identifies 37 immune populations, the number of cells per population, the percentage of total intact live cells, and the percentage of the parent cell population, as well as QC metrics. The report can be printed as a PDF or viewed in an Excel spreadsheet. 
This report can also be customized to suit your specific needs. The high dimensional Sensei map allows the data generated by the MaxPAR Pathsetter path model to be explored. Since the model and the Sensei analysis are fully integrated, the definitions for cell populations identified by the MaxPAR model are also used to identify these populations in the Sensei map. This feature provides an important benefit over using a separate TISNI plot. By using the Sensei plot, you can also visualize new markers or populations defined by drop-in antibodies added to the max part of direct immune profiling assay panel. Now I'd like to take you through some of the data that shows the performance, the reliability of the MaxPAR direct immune profiling assay and MaxPAR Pathsetter software. In this test, the liquid and dry versions of the assay were compared for their ability to identify 35 immune cell populations. As shown by the high R squared values, validation of the dry panel against the equivalent liquid panel allowed identification and enumeration of the 35 populations equally well in both whole blood and PBMC. The reliability of the dry panel was also investigated at multiple customer testing sites. The workflow is shown here. A single whole blood donor was tested at six customer sites while a single PBMC donor was tested at five customer sites. Each sample was stained in triplicate by a single technician at each site. All tubes were run on a single Helios mass cytometer at each site. One FCS file was collected for each tube and analyzed by Pathsetter software. The whole, plot, the whole blood plot on the left shows the median plus upper and lower quartiles for the combined data from all six sites. 18, F, 18 FCS files in all for each cell population of 10% frequency or more. The PBMC plot on the right shows the same for the combined data from five sites and equals 15 FCS files. As you can see in this slide, highly consistent results were observed between sites, instruments, and the technicians for both whole blood and PBMC samples. The MaxPAR Direct Immune Profiling Assay sets a new standard in immune profiling. 30 canonical immune cell markers that in concert identify at least 37 immune cell populations, all in a single tube of sample. The combination of pre-optimized, easy to use, high dimensional immune cell panel for analysis by mass cytometry with an automated software solution provides the most powerful and reliable way to analyze your precious PBMC and whole blood samples time after time.